Welcome back. This is your Feel Good Breakfast show. The Bosch boys are in studio. They're doing the Two Oceans Half Marathon Rowing Challenge. And this is for them to row their way all the way through to the UK. And I believe they have about 13 kilometers left to go. Now, as of 2015, the World Resources Institute listed South Africa as 42nd in terms of road fatalities amongst the population. Now, during the holiday times, we are often, you know, cautioned to take care on the roads due to high traffic volumes and we have public relations manager of the Bequena Platinum corridor concessionaire for the N1 and N4 route to share some road safety tips as well as you know for this up and coming Easter weekend starting tomorrow. Charmaine good morning and welcome to Expresso. Thank you very much. Now I know that Bequena they started on the N1 N4 route some roadworks. How will these roadworks once they're done benefit the motorists? Well, basically, we have a 160 million um, plaza upgrade project that is in progress at the moment. It's in its third phase, so it's actually the last phase of the upgrade. So we are adding an additional two lanes to the Brits Plaza as well as the Morikana Plaza on the N4. So that is one lane per direction. So that will definitely alleviate congestion as well as assist motorists with getting through the plaza quicker. No, you did mention you are in phase three, which means for this Easter weekend, motorists need to be cautious when driving in that area. Um, yes, that's correct. However, um, we don't have any roadworks on the road at the moment. So over the Easter weekend, we don't have any road closures, any lane closures. Um, all our lanes are open, especially um, with the peak periods we are expecting along the route. So let's talk about some of those peak periods. What times will there be the most people on the road? Because I know a lot of people will be, you know, going away for the long weekend, coming to Cape Town, for example, for the two oceans. Can you maybe give us some guidelines? Sure. Um, we have our general holiday makers that will be going up to the bush. And um, there's also the pilgrims who make their annual um, journey up for the Zion Christian Festival up on the N1 North. So we are actually expecting around about approximately 34,000 vehicles going up north today. Mm -hmm. Our peak periods today are between 12 o'clock and 9 o'clock this evening. And then tomorrow northbound we will also have high volumes between 12, uh, I stand to be corrected, between 9 o'clock and 12 o'clock in the morning. And then obviously on Easter Monday, that's the 17th of April, we will have very high volumes, probably um, around about 35,000 and we are looking at peak periods throughout the day from 9 to 9 in the evening. Okay, so in general it's going to be a busy weekend out on the roads. Absolutely. What tips can drivers, you know, apply to ensure that everyone arrives safely at their destination? Well, basically we, we urge drivers to plan their journeys to make sure they get enough rest the night before and obviously before they embark on their journeys to please ensure they are buckled up as well as their children mm. and the other passengers. Make sure their children are in the correct um, car seats, buckled in. Once they begin their journey, um, they just need to ensure that they also stop and rest at least every two hours or 200 kilometers. The recommended um, distance to, to space yourself in between cars is um, three seconds. So basically that is the um, recommended distance, following distance, uh, we ask everybody to, to follow. And then obviously obey the rules of the road um, and just to drive cautiously, be cautious to other drivers. Yeah. Perfect, thank you. Well, Charmaine, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Just quickly, what has Bequena put in place to also ensure that our drivers arrive safely at their destination? Basically, all of our toll plazas will be open in the peak direction. That includes all the reversibles. And then um, we've also partnered again with Imperial. Um, we have added an additional six route patrol vehicles to um, the route for the weekend, well, basically up until the holidays finish. And basically these vehicles, they will actually assist with visibility along the route, as well as uh, assisting with um, crash crashes, as well as also any motorists that are in distress um, they will be able to assist them if they've broken down. We've also got another wonderful campaign. Um, it's actually called the Cosby Campaign. Yeah. Um, it's actually the first time it's actually been done in South Africa. Um, it's called Control of Speed Over by Illusion. 
and um, there's actually been a lot of social media hype around it. It is the cut-out police cars that have, that have been stationed along the route. Okay. So that basically the objective there is to ensure that motorists slow down, stick to the speed limit, um, and you know we hope to reach our goal of zero fatalities. Thank you. Well, Charmaine, thank you so much for joining us this morning. If you are heading out onto the roads for this Easter weekend, do take caution, take the tips we've just shared, and be arrive safely at your destinations. Well, this is your feel-good breakfast show. Let's see what else is coming up.